You know, our, our daily lives are pretty much curated for us in terms of like how we experience the city or how we experience place. So when you see graffiti and street art, it could just kind of make you reimagine kind of how your daily experience is going to be, it makes you reimagine what a city can be. I grew up in New York City. It was a rich history of um, young children going out, sneaking out at night and expressing themselves um, and creating big elaborate versions of their name, which was absolutely fascinating to me as a child. It was the last thing on my mind that I would, would dedicate a big part of my career to it. Young kids had an art form that they were really enthusiastic about and that adults didn't understand. So I felt as if I had been let into a secret world. And kids across the five boroughs having conversations on public transportation. And it was sort of like a moving art show. Being here in London is important to me because my inspiration for a lot of my street art didn't come from New York graffiti. It came from the aesthetics of punk rock because I started with stencils and stickers, screen printing, flyering. There's been a huge fight for these artists for recognition. As a medium of art that they create has been for a long time put on the sidelines of, you know, art history. What I think is really important about graffiti and street art in society is that it's democratic, whether you're from a, a, a rich or poor background, whatever gender, skin, color, religion you are, it doesn't, doesn't matter if you just have the courage to get out there and do it. If I were to continue showcasing graffiti and street art in the same galleries or the same audiences, we're not going to be able to educate more people. I'm absolutely grateful. I would have, 13 year old me would have never thought this was possible. See where it started and see where it's going is really magical. I really wanted to do something very different from what everyone was doing, which was adding layers by painting, by doing paste steps. And that one day I came up with the idea of basically painting everything white and start carving. And by doing that I was also revealing layers of the past of that city. When you go on an you know, everyday walk and you, you see a portrait of someone looking at you, it's not just a wall, you're humanizing that wall and you create a relationship between the viewer and that place.